Welcome to yet another Back of Tricks tutorial. It's been a while as usual. Um, this time I'm going to show you a new functionality, not uh, invented by me, but by Blackwing, uh, one of my GMs. Uh, and it's a really neat, cool feature. Uh, so I was uh, really anxious to get it implemented in the bot as it uses pads and it uses on token move. So it fits in uh, quite nicely. Uh, if you want to uh, test it out, I've created a sample map. Well, he actually created a sample map. I implemented it simply. Sound test, ground floor, where you can uh, test this out. So how does it work? Well, as you can see, there's a player here. Um, and it, it, it's a PC token and has to be owned, well, in this case, by me, by the, my a, a client. And as soon as this token enters the bar, the following happens. Sounds start playing. You say, okay, nice feature. You, you can actually see the sound tokens here. You see them here and here. This is what the players see. Uh, you'll see here these tokens I'll explain later. I'll, I'll do the GM view for now. So, what the cool feature is, is that actually when you near the sound tokens, you can hear them increasing in sound. Until you're standing in a corner, vaguely hear the music, and hear the fire in the earth. Moving closer to the music, and you can see. So this is basically the feature, um, and I've taken care of the, the bare necessities. For example, if you take a teleport, that's what this is. It automatically checks again where you are. Same for into teleports. You go up a floor. Go to to bed. You can hear, still have vaguely hear the music, and when you enter your room. Well, you hope you can catch some sleep uh, because of the snoring. Okay, back down. So how does this work? Well, it's really simple. You create a token, which is called SoundPad, including something that you like. Fireplay sounds. Doesn't really matter. Please limit yourself in these names to alpha numerical characters. Okay? Once you've created the SoundPad, you can um, start uh, the back of tricks and in the back of tricks you will see a new section beneath animation sound clear all sounds uh, clear all sounds that basically does this it clears all sounds um, so I'll explain this one later this is the button that you can start with setup sound pad so you select the sound pad and um, here you set the URL uh, pointed to the, uh, to the sound pad. In this case, I've placed it on my hard disk, so it's in the disk in map tools, Dropbox, Spotlight, Blah 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 blah. Now let's call Fireplace MP2. Parameters you can set, which gives this neat effect, is uh, the volume of the sound. Uh, at the farthest distance, in this case is zero, which you could increase a little bit. Um, the distance at which the sound is heard first, so when you're at 50 units, which could be feet or meters depending on your uh, map, uh, but it's distance per. So if we look at the map here, you can see this token is moving 20 feet. Uh, if you change the map settings to, for example, one, so that this would be uh, one, two, three, four meters, um, then it would count as four. So it's the distance per unit, uh, yeah, in units. Okay, back. So 50 feet in this case. Uh, the volume of the sound at the closest distance, one is the max. So that means that when you're close by, you hear the maximum volume. Then the distance at which the sound is heard at uh, max volume, which you could increase. So I can show you this. Uh, for example, the hearth fire. You can now oh, you can now hear clearly. And let's go. Let's 
go outside, turn this one off. Now it's silent. When I get closer, I can hear the fire. Now, I could, for example, uh, the distance sounds also at, well, let's say, 50. So when I move it closer now, you hear it at max volume. Changing it again. Oh, sorry. Changing it again. Back to 5. And it will be quiet in the distance and loud when you're at 5 feet distance. Uh, that's it. Um, as I said, it works with uh, teleports. It also works with uh, switch maps. Um, if I can find where I, I hit it. The details. Switch map. Base. Um, switching back. Select token and go to. This is center. The bar entrance. This is the one you want. And immediately the music starts. I nearly forgot. Um, I would explain search and replace all sound URL button still. Um, to clarify the bit a bit, um, ideally you have your files uh, somewhere on a remote server and you use the web address uh, uh, to access them. In this case, uh, for now I've placed them in C, so dump sounds. Here you can see the sounds that are in use. Now, when I check this uh, setup sound pad, you'll see that the address is sounds. Now let's assume that um, I don't want to use sound, I want to use streams for your case. You have them in a different spot. So now the address has changed to this. Okay, um, what you can do now is change all, everything, which is here, easy, streams, hope I have that right, streams, yeah. So that means that the location uh, formula is dump sounds, now it's in dump streams, I do okay. Now it goes through all maps, all sound pads. And search and replaces, oh, sorry, wrong button, search and replaces everything. So now it looks, it looks it up in streams, which, now let's try this. It works. Thank God. Well, that concludes uh, this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it, uh, like it, and um, well, until next time, bye.